Praise the Lord, saints of God. I'm so glad that you are here. Today is day 20 of our prayer and fasting devotion. I'm Aaron Lanier, and today we're going to look at the whole package. Now, wholeness to many is something that's unattainable, and more people live a life that's uh, fragmented. You know, there's a little bit here and a little bit there, you see, but not actually coming together, not bringing it to completion, you see. And so the lives that they allow themselves to live uh, is a life a lifestyle that's kind of mundane. It's kind of um, a normal lifestyle, you see. But God wants us to experience the to the 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 wholeness, the the totalness of of who He is. He wants you to live a lifestyle that reflects His goodness. He wants you to be overflowing with goodness, with blessings, with joy, with peace in every area of your life. You see, so God never intended for you to live a super normal life or uh, a life that's just kind of flat. You see, God, God wants to take you higher. He wants to take you over and above. Amen. He wants you to have the whole package. You see. And so the whole package is you just walking in the complete fullness of who he is and what he had planned for your life. You know the story, uh, Jesus, one day when he was uh, headed to Jerusalem. And as he entered into Jerusalem, there were ten lepers who turned back to him. No, they, they cried out, excuse me, they cried out, Jesus, have mercy on us. And you see, when he saw them, this is what he did. He told them, he said, go show yourself to the priests. And as they went, they were healed. You see, so your healing, your wholeness, your your fulfillment comes from you being obedient to what the Lord has instructed you to do. You see, so when he told them to go show themselves to the priests, as they went, they were healed. As they acted and as they were being obedient to what the word said, then they, they were healed. They were whole. You see, so as they're going on their journey, going to show themselves to the priests, you know, then they can see that their bodies were being healed. You know, uh, leprosy is basically it's a, a type of skin disease. And, you know, it's it's like sores and, you know, different things and pus and, you know, stuff that you don't want to see. You know, that's what was on their bodies. They, they can see that. You see, so as they're on their journey, amen, they can see that their bodies were being healed, that their bodies were being restored, that they were receiving wholeness in that area. You see, so when you're acting in obedience to what God has called you to do, you're going to find fulfillment. You're going to find wholeness. You're going to find yourself walking in the total victory, the, the wholeness that God intended for you to have. You're going to have the whole package. You see, and so one of them, he turned around. When he saw what was happening in his body, he, he, he just got excited and he turned back. And he went to praise God. He fell on his face. Amen. Giving glory to God because of what had happened. You see, so when you experience the fullness and the wholeness of what God has for you, there's an excitement time. There's, there's, there's an excitement that comes with that because you're a testimony now. You, you have firsthand witness of what God intended, what God had, how God healed you and restored you and made you whole. You see. And so that was that guy, <laughs> you see. But the same thing can happen to you when you're obedient to following the word, when you're obedient to acting on what God says for you, said to you, amen, then you'll have that fullness. You'll experience that, that completion, you see. And so the, today's scripture comes from Luke chapter 17, verses 11 through 17, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20, and uh, Romans chapter 8 verse 37 psalms 23 verse 5 psalms 100 verse 4 and so i want you to just think about it god intends for you to have the fullness of him he wants you to have complete total healing total victories in every area of your life and so today our prayer focus is just focusing on being thankful and praising God for what for what he had already done. You see, you already have the victory. You already have wholeness. Amen. You just have to act on it. You see. 
you have to get his perspective in every area of your life find out what God says about it because he doesn't want you to live a lifestyle that's fragmented part here and part here you see so in the computer world we call that defrag you see so you got a little bit of information here a little bit of information here a little bit of joy a little bit of peace you know a little bit of uh, happiness and you know a little bit of victory here but he wants you to have wholeness so when you defrag basically you bring all that together so you can have the fullness of it so God don't want you to live a defrag a, a fragmented life so God's <laughs> intention is for you to be complete in every area and so let's go ahead and pray about that father we thank you we give you glory we thank you father God that we walk in total healing we walk in total victory in every area we thank you father for supernatural favor in every area of our lives and we thank you father God that we receive the whole package what you intended for us to have I accept it and I receive it and I thank you for it father in Jesus name amen and if you pray that prayer amen you'll walk in the total in the total victory that God intended for you to have in Jesus name